Hi, I'm Garrett, and welcome to Behind the Wire. If you have cattle, well, having a head catch is one of the most important things that you can have. Ivy right now is going to demonstrate how instrumental a head catch can be for you. Well, I'm going to show you how I built mine. Right now, we're kind of getting ready for calving season, which means really just getting a lot of things set up. My wife and I, we haven't lived here for too long, had the place for too long, so there's a lot of changes that need to be made to make this work for us here. Uh, previously, I tore out a couple of uh, plum thickets going along here so I could make a fence line. I just used a double hot wire i haven't gotten it totally cleared out there but it was enough to get a fence through but these two little patches here where the first calf heifers will go the house is right down there so they're nice and close so i was cleaning up out here and building the fence and found this cement pad right here that i thought would work perfectly set a tank right there and could just run a hydrant a hose right over to it so heifers will come drink up here and they'll be in these two little patches i'll put a post here and connect it to that one and then it's all fenced the rest of the way so first you need a place to put your heifers so we've got that there and also since these are first calf heifers the chances of me having to assist somebody in calving is pretty good, at least one, I would think. So the next thing you need is a place to catch them. And we have this handy little shed right over here that I think will work nicely. It's already got a pen, somewhat of a pen attached to it. So uh, come check out and see what we've got in here. So here is the shed. There was nothing in this shed except, well, there was a lot of junk, but there was nothing as far as fence or anything except for this old piece right here. So this is cedar posts, and I thought, well, that's fine, but I need to put a head catch somewhere. So I ended up cutting a hole right here, leveling out the dirt there for some cinder blocks, and I got it set on there, it's level, and then I very strategically placed shims in here so it's not going anywhere it's level and this is a, a pulley driven head catch so i can run them in here and uh, when their head's stuck through there i can just shut them in there lock them up should have them also i needed a board right here a, a, a panel rather so that they wouldn't push through the tin on this shed and swing their rear end, you know, outside of the building. So I put this piece right here and I'm hoping it'll hold, but only time will tell on this. So we've got the head catch set. We've got the north side finished up. And I'm used to working on a cow's left side more often than the right side. So I figured cows will come in this way and I need to still be able to open up the left side so I can get a calf to nurse or if a cow lays down in the chute and I need to pull a calf, I can still pull it out this way. So I found this piece of angle iron and what I did was I just cut a notch right there in that board so I can totally take this thing out or put it in here, put this power pole in the ground and I used a chainsaw and I made different slats. I opened that up wide enough there so it can hinge and I can put it at these three different settings. I don't know why I would need anything other than the middle setting, but if I do end up needing this moved, it'll be nice to know that I'm able to.
So in my mind, at least, a head catch or a shoot needs to be the first thing that you put in. That way you know exactly where all of your other fence lines and fences all line up with. Where, where are you going? What's the goal? To get to the head catch. So this year I'm gonna use panels as far as my fence goes. So I kind of get a feel of how everything works uh, bringing cattle in here before I weld in permanent fence everywhere. So before I get panels put in here, I need to finish cleaning up and uh, take out a fence over there. That's not gonna do any good. Uh, so yeah, let's just clean up in here. So here's the, the rest of what was inside of there. From all that being gone, here's our shed. Got a little bit of dirt work to do here, but uh, this part that we're walking in right now, this'll be, this'll be a pen right here. So it'll be, I'll have some panels going outside uh, so the calves can get out in the sun because the sunlight is about the best medicine for any animal really unless you're a squid or something I don't know what doesn't like Sun or doesn't need it but anyways uh, just got nails and tools to pick up but uh, and I'll put another pen over there too so I'll have two pens in here and then in the middle I gotta have a way to bring cattle in here or a cattle in here and catch them so now we just need some panels. This is not a how-to. This is a, this is what I'm gonna try. And we'll find out real shortly uh, if it works or not, but no promises. So if a cow blows up in yours and you made it exactly like that. So right now I'm heading over to hook onto the panel trailer so we can start building with them at, at the house. If you remember the last video, uh, the panel trailer is still sitting over there where we built a pen to bring our cows back home. So if somebody else happened to see that panel trailer sitting there and thought, oh, I'm going to hook on to that thing and use it for my own, that's my fault that I left it there for so long. But if somebody did, this video will go a little different direction. But hopefully it's still there. And... Uh, We'll get hooked on and bring it home. So we got our panels here, and uh, winds are picking up. They're windy winds, starting to sprinkle a little bit, but uh, for now, I think I can start getting some panels set up in here and uh, just see how far we get. So let's get to it. What do you think, pup? All right, so that's all I'm gonna get done for panels tonight. So cows will be in here, heifers will be in here, and well actually, there they are right there, right now, on corn stalks. But anyways, this is what we got done so far. Heifers will be back in there. I'll have to make a gate over there, but they'll come in here the walk over here. I'll probably 
trot over here, so we'll do that too. Drive them around this way. Cattle always want to come back to where they came from, so they'll come right back this way, and they kind of funnel through here. I've got a gate right here that I can swing behind them if I have to. And then I've got this gate right here that I can swing right behind them. So I can chain it up to there, wire it, whatever, probably nothing. Get them up here, pull the lever, and they're caught. And they're caught. Uh, got a pen set up over here if I need one. Honestly, this gate can shut right here. And I can put another pair in here, and then I'm gonna build a pen over there that uh, goes outside quite a bit so they can lay outside. Uh, no electricity in here, no water source. I need to put in a well. Uh, there's just the house. But uh, yeah, so that's what we got done in here. Doesn't look like much, but I think it'll do the trick. I shouldn't have to pen up a pair very often at all. If I do, it's not because of the cold. Uh, since I don't calve till April 1st, and that's April and May, 60 days. Hopefully I'm done in 60 days. But I'm gonna find something else to do outside of this rain. So until next time, keep doing cool stuff, and thanks for tuning in to Behind the Wire. Mm -hmm.